Hello everyone, this is Teacher Newton and here is another edition of Improve Your English, Melhore Seu Inglês Podcast. Today's episode, we are going to learn how to use no, none, any, nothing, nobody, etc. So first, let's start with no and none. We use no plus noun when we want to make a negative sentence because no equals not a or not any. Let's see some examples. We had to walk home because there was no bus. We had to walk home because there was no bus. It's the same as there wasn't a bus. Sue will have no difficulty finding a job. It's the same as Sue won't have to make a negative sentence because no equals not a or not any. Let's see some examples. We had to walk home because there was no bus. We had to walk home because there was no bus. It's the same as there wasn't a bus. Sue will have no difficulty finding a job. It's the same as Sue won't have any difficulty. There were no shops open, which is the same as there weren't any shops open. You can use no plus noun at the beginning of a sentence. For example, no reason was given for the change of plan. No reason was given for the change of plan. We use none without a noun. For example, how much money do you have? None, which means no money. All the tickets have been sold. There are none left. None left means no tickets left. Or we can use none of. For example, this money is all yours. None of it is mine. This money is all yours. None of it is mine. After none plus plural, none of the students, none of them, for example, uh, the verb can be singular or plural. A plural verb is more usual. For example, none of the shops were open or none of the shop was open. Nothing, nobody, no one, or nowhere. You can use these negative words at the beginning of a sentence or alone as answers to questions. For example, nobody came to visit me while I was in the hospital. Or, no one came to visit me while I was in hospital. What happened? Nothing. Where are you going? Nowhere. I'm staying here. You can also use these words after a verb, especially after be and have. For example, the house is empty. There is nobody living there. We had nothing to eat. Nothing, nobody, etc. is the same as not plus anything, anybody, etc. For example, I didn't say anything. is the same as I said nothing. Jane didn't tell anybody about her plans. is the same as Jane told nobody. They haven't got anywhere to live, which is the same as they've got nowhere to live. With nothing or no, nobody, etc., you do not use a negative verb. Isn't, didn't, etc. For example, you say, I said nothing. I said nothing. You don't say, I didn't say anything. This is wrong. We say, I said nothing. Nobody tells me anything. We don't say, nobody doesn't tell me. The correct way to, to say is, nobody tells me anything. We also use anything, anybody, etc. without not to mean it doesn't matter which, what, who. For example, compare no and any. There was no bus, so we walked home. You can take any bus. They all go to the center, which means it doesn't matter which. What do you want to eat? Nothing. I'm not hungry. I'm so hungry. I could eat anything. It doesn't matter what. The exam was extremely difficult. Nobody passed, which means everybody failed. The exam was very easy. Anybody could have passed, which, is, which means it doesn't matter who. After nobody, no one, you can use they, them, there. For example, 
Nobody phoned, did they? No one did what I asked them to do. Nobody in the class did their homework. And this was the Melhor e Seu Inglês podcast of this week. Please follow us on Instagram, Melhor e Seu Inglês, and visit our YouTube channel.